Welcome Libra Scorpio to your chakra reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this month is all about the crown chakra, saying I know, getting into the I know. I know universal light. Um, this is talking about the soul, uh, star, soul star chakra and the triumph and success. Improving health. Let's back this up just a little bit. Get them on camera here. And talking about those new beginnings. The conclusion of one chapter into a new chapter. Um, we can start things fresh and new. Okay. And getting your tarot cards over here. Five for Libra Scorpio, please. Things that are overwhelming you, feeling like you can't get the things done that you need with the Four of Swords. Wow, the same exact two cards um, that Libra Scorpio had, or that Libra had, excuse me. Um, so, yes, you're having the two exact cards come out as Libra, so this is a lot of Libra energy. Um, with that overwhelmingness and feeling the anxieties. So, okay, but the crown chakra over here is talking about getting into that unity of self, using that intuition and having the, uh, the clear understanding so that way you can say, hmm, now I get it, now I know. So, beautiful. This is the aligned with our spiritual virtues and is where we attain pure union with our I am presence and God source, the connection to the higher realms, worlds, and dimensions. So this crown chakra is where we feel whole and complete with ourselves and the experience and express our divine light into the world. And then there you have the universal light, which is talking about the um, soul uh, star chakra, which is about six inches above the crown chakra. It is our connection between the spiritual and physical heaven and earth and bridges the lights of the soul into the physical body. It is where the soul or the spirit enters into the third dimension, which is our physical reality. This keeps you linked to the heavens. This is giving you great ideas. This is where you'll be able to feel the vibrations and give you higher vibrations as you open up to experience this sense of inner peace and connections with the universe. So keeping your soul connected. Um, and using that crown chakra of I know, um, saying I know that I can get to where I need to be. I have a deep understanding of what needs to happen, um, which is very good. And then you can speak it. You know it. You can hear it. Um, you have the creative force within you to be able to... Um, understand and have a recognition of what is going on. And by improving your health, health could be mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, any of the above. Um, and this is just improving that health to know that you can get to the triumph and success that you're looking for without feeling all these overburdenness and feeling all the anxieties. So improving the health right here would be getting rid of the anxieties and the things that are insomnia, things that are making you feel imbalanced, not being able to rest Things that are overwhelming you. Maybe you just need to rest. Maybe you just go, 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 go. And it's not good for the body to just continue to go without really resting. Okay. So getting over here on the universal light and the triumph and success going for that ace of swords over here saying, <laughs> yeah, I need that growth. I need, I need this new beginning, something that makes me feel fresh, alive, um, and not so run down. And I see the overwhelmingness as well. So it feels to me like maybe some of you are just go, 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 go. I don't have time to rest. Okay. King of Cups. And that's just perceiving and understanding. With the King of Cups coming up, it's talking about that perceiving and that understanding. 
um, of what's going on around you because it says, I know. So you already know that you're overburdened to the point where you really need to rest. So you just need to take control of that and actually do something about it, right? You're saying, I don't have time. It's like I'm thieving my own energy. I'm thieving my own sleep. I'm thieving my own, you know, maybe life for this new beginning um, to feel comfortable because I just can't stop working. I'm always on the go. And I know that I need a little downtime, a little time to, um, you know, just maybe just take some time out for myself. Um, with the Page of Cups, I mean, look at all this water over here. Page of Cups, this is just like kind of being loyal to yourself and listening to your higher self. Because it's sitting right there, right on the Triumph and Success. You have this beautiful throat chakra coming in with it. So it's saying, <laughs> I know I need to be more loyal so that I can have this, this beautiful new beginning. But you do have the understanding. That's, you know, but it is kind of crazy because it's like we talk to our, our family or whatever, and they're like, you look a little really tired. And you're like, I am tired. I really need to rest. Now, look, you just said it, right? You spoke it. You said it. You know it. And that's what it's saying. You know, right, that you need this time out. But you're not offering the cups to yourself. You just keep maintaining to go without improving the health. Um, for some of you, you actually have a health issue. You're not going to the doctor. You're just allowing yourself to keep going and running yourself down. Um, you have to have the recognition for the powerful three in yourself because the powerful three in yourself is pretty much like mind, body, soul. You need to offer yourself this improving health. You need to get this done so you can improve overall health. Because once it starts, once you start messing with one piece of health, whether it's physical, then it becomes mental, then it becomes spiritual, you know what I mean? And it kind of glides down. Um, and this would be a very good judgment call for you to take the rest and relaxation or doing whatever it is that you need to do um, to improve your health. It could be going to the doctor or it could just be the rest, just resting, taking time out, not running yourself so much. With the king of swords coming upside down, but you just don't do it. It's kind of like the illogical thinking with the King of Swords when he's upside down, because remember, he is such a logical, analytical thinker that when he's upside down, it's you not using your logical thinking. Um, logical thinking would be like, you know that you should rest. But for you, it could be like, but it's illogical because I really have to do this. Um, but then you have to understand that if you don't do it, it just your health gets worse, right? The situation is not going to improve. So it's more illogical for you not to rest, not to do these things, not to get rid of the burden. Get rest. Improving health means rest. Take time out. Take a break. You're not going to get anywhere. In the long run, your spirit says you're not really going to get in really anywhere um, in the long run because you're just sinking ships and it doesn't mean that yes i mean look if you're if you're building a house and you are building a house yeah the house is going to be built okay but in the long run your health is just going to keep sinking it's going to take longer for you to feel better um to get you know to improve that health the more you keep running right it's just gonna get worse yeah, so it's time to meditate. It's time to take some time out. With the hangman, it's time to just kind of chill back, calm down, and just kind of keep yourself stuck. It's, yeah, it wants you to keep yourself stuck. Stuck in your bed, sleeping. <laughs> take a vacation. You know what I'm saying? It's like keep yourself, you know, away from some work for a while. I mean, overall, yes, everything you get, yeah, you will have the progress and the success. Heck, yeah, but at what cost? How tired are you, right? If you're getting headaches all the time, you know, it's, it's deplenishing the health. Yeah. So, spirits, like, be faithful to yourself. Be faithful to 
yeah, just be pretty much faithful to yourself because it will actually bring in more blessings when you actually rest and rejuvenate in the end. So that way, you know, in a lot of ways too, once you get this project done, whatever it is that you're doing that is burdening you so much that you were just go, 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 you're going to be able to appreciate it a little bit more in the end. Um, because you, you'll be awake. <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, seriously, it's almost like the house is going to be built. I'm going to put the bed in. I'm not going to even be able to throw this party because I'm going to lay straight into the bed and go to sleep for a week. Right. Um, but in the end, it's a, it's more of a blessing to yourself because pretty much what Spirit's saying is you're just draining yourself and tearing yourself down um, to get one project done. But, you know, we need to have rest and replenish too. We are human. Um, we need sleep. We need to make sure that our, you know, our bodies are healthy so we can get things done. Um, and you know this, right? You know this. So with many blessings, there will come. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, I see. No matter what, though, I mean, you know, you're going to do that one way or another, but it's really good to rest. It will help you um, think better um, and get things. I don't know. It just feels like you'll get it accomplished faster as well, because now you're going to be able to rest and think. Right. Without feeling a little groggy and tired. OK. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye bye.